Section 5. Performance Review. Subsection 1. A report to be known as a British Sign Language Performance Review, in this act referred to as a performance review, a. is to be prepared and laid before the Parliament by the Scottish Ministers, and b. following that, is to be published by them. Subsection 2. The first performance review is to be published no later than 12 months before the date mentioned in subsection 3. Subsection 3. That date is the date on which the session of the Parliament, which next follows a session in which this Act receives royal assent, would end where the Parliament, in that following session, dissolved by virtue of section 2, subsection 3, Paragraph A of the 1998 Act. Subsection 4. A performance review is to be published A. in each subsequent session of the Parliament and B. no later than six months before the date on which that session would end were the Parliament dissolved as mentioned in subsection 3. Subsection 5. A performance review is to include by reference both to the National Plan and to the Authority Plans of the individual listed authorities a. an account of measures taken and outcomes attained b. examples of best practice and in the case of such an example by reference to the Authority Plan of an individual listed authority is to identify that authority and to describe the best practice in question and c. examples, if there are any of poor performance and in the case of such an example by reference to the authority plan of an individual listed authority is to identify that authority and to describe the poor performance in question. Subsection 6. This section is subject to section 6 and 7. Section 6. Special provision where early dissolution of the Parliament. Schedule 1 make special provision for circumstances in which there is early dissolution of the Parliament. Section 7. Alteration of date of publication of plan or review in exceptional circumstances. Subsection 1. The Scottish Ministers may, in circumstances which they consider to be exceptional, being circumstances other than those in which there is early dissolution of the Parliament, provide by order for a national plan an authority plan or a performance review to be published by a date other than provided for in this Act. Subsection 2. An order under subsection 1 is subject to the affirmative procedure. Section 8. Listed authority and other expressions. Subsection 1. In this Act, any reference to a listed authority is to a public authority for the time being listed or described in Schedule 2. Subsection 2. In this Act, references to the 1998 Act are to the Scotland Act 1998 Chapter 46. Subsection 3. The Scottish Ministers may by order modify Schedule 2. A by adding a public authority or description of public authorities to the list of authorities in that schedule. b. By removing a public authority or description of public authorities from that list or c. By modifying an entry in that list. Subsection 4. An order under subsection 3 is subject to the affirmative procedure. Section 9. Commencement. This Act comes into force on the day after Royal Assent. Section 10. Short Title. The short title of this Act is the British Sign Language Scotland Act 2015.